Armory in Trash Gear, episode one. I don't even have a scope. You heard what they say. Shoot, loot, extract, and keep yourself alive. So that's what we're gonna do today with a tiny little twist. So welcome to my loot goblin video in which I'm kind of utilizing my teammates to cover me and I can focus on my primary goal which is just heading into the armory, avoid all kind of fights, loot the safes and then extract. And I think we all have the days where we feel inside that somebody else should be doing the dirty job. So let's go into armory and clear the whole facility without risking our lives, okay? Shall we? Let's go. Alto, please come and support me, Alto. Oh. Here we good. Looting can start. I want to run to the other side of the armory because I have that key, as you can see, the private launch key. It would be really nice if somebody else would kill the bots now. And this is by no means fun mode, like knife only. We still have stuff to fight with if needed, but it's more of the mindset, the gameplay, how you approach the map. It needs a bit of a practice because if you face enemy players, you have to learn how to make sure they are not spotting you. Mm, good, good. Okay, let's push, push, guys, push, guys. I'm just gonna. Oh, I didn't even see that bot. Okay, I'm gonna run to the other side. I'm gonna get the red. I'm gonna boost my account. I'm gonna be the loot goblin this time. Not really caring about bots. I have teammates. They should be doing the dirty job now. Not sure, guys, if it happens to you, but sometimes, you know, you're doing the killing and then you have teammates who are just trying to steal your loot. I think it's not fair. What happens usually is that if you play with randoms, they threaten you with grenades that they're gonna blow you up in case you pick up anything which is just not cool even if you are doing the kill sometimes it happens no red no nothing okay one more safe one more chance come on okay 60k it's the last save but i guess the teammates already opened them yep 200k i'm fine you cannot always find the red ones i mean it's nice if you have them somebody should trigger the um the canal and what if i i stay downstairs i never tried this so what if i just stay downstairs are the bots are just gonna spawn right next to me oh they're gonna spawn right here right who sent you, who sent you? your mom Oh my gosh, my aim is is terrible. Come on guys, help me, help me or I'm down. Oh my Oh don't look inside. I mean, no 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 don't look inside. Please, please, please don't shoot. Please don't shoot. I'm not here. Don't shoot, Mr. Bot. Don't shoot at me. Don't don't. I'm not here. I'm not here. Okay, now I'm here. Okay, let's trigger the extract. And with this type of game style, it absolutely doesn't matter what your loadout is or what type of weapon you have or what armor, because the idea is to try and sneak, be the loot goblin and avoid fights. Yeah, you shouldn't be greedy because I guess the videos you see, they are always extracting with 400,000, 600,000, 800,000 and whatever. Devs keep saying that you should shoot and loot, right? I, I did some shooting. You know, I had terrible aim, but, you know, I, I definitely did some shooting, so... I think I achieved the objective of the game. 
which is staying alive. Actually, I wanted to do this recording to show you guys that you don't need high-end loot. So I had like a pretty default setup. Yeah, I had random two teammates and they did some killing on the bots. So that helped me looting the safes. It would have been even better if I find a red item, but let's see how much we brought out. It's 200k. I think it's fine, right? I think it's fine. Just follow the example. Don't overdo it. You don't need to do every single fight. Go inside, loot, maybe shoot sometimes and extract, stay alive. And this is what we've been doing. Thanks for watching. Happy gaming. JD out. Bye.